I saw a guy this morning fall on his bike on quite a busy street, poor guy. And his instinct was just to lie flat. And he was just laying there. Oh, poor guy. He was really suffering. He's fine, but he got knocked out. And that was a really good move right then. But if tomorrow he's still lying flat and a week from now, he's still lying flat, his pain will go away. The problem is he won't heal properly. So let's imagine you have something like this, maybe not this severe, but let's imagine you have a, a disc bulge or herniation like this. And the first phase of healing is collagen type three, which is kind of like a really gentle, quick fix bandage and whoof, the pain, if you stay still, the pain will absolutely be minimal. But in order for that type three collagen, at least some of it to be kneaded like dough into type one, stronger collagen, you have to move around. It's a signal, it's called a mechanotransduction. This is how our tissues get a signal about what's going on, right? That's how our tissues get stronger. Commit to 15 minutes a day of corrective exercises, four out of 10 maximum discomfort. And then the only other thing you just have to be diligent about is walking. You just have to be walking. If that only means two minutes a day at first, do two minutes a day. Try to do two minutes, five times a day. I'd like you to get up to the point where you're getting to seven to 8,000 steps a day. And eventually, as soon as you can, especially when you're managing something that's been coming back, trying to get up to 10,000 plus a day, which is a lot of walking. But again, that's really going to help to get all of those different connect chains lined up. Stay positive.